you may see here that we have placed our primary beams and now we are going to place the precast slabs after that we are going to pour concrete which will be placed in situ so don't forget to watch this video completely so guys you can see here that we are launching our precast main beam for each span of the bridge we are going to launch four number of beams as you can see with the help of crane we have launched the beams these beams have to be placed on top of this bearing pad you can see this bearing pad has been placed first and then the precast beams were placed this is the cross section of the precast beam we have used y32 y12 y25 and y 16 mm bars you can see after placing these precast beams you may see that we are preparing to cast for the diaphragm beam for the precast main beam you can see we have used y16 and y25 mm bars y25 were also used as the lifting hooks on top they were used so that they could be lifted with the help of crane this is the cross section of pier wall you can see that after placement of precast slabs concrete will be casted in situ it will have a thickness of 120 millimeters once the diaphragm beams are ready then the precast slabs shall be placed on top of it so as you can see that now we have started the preparation of our precast slabs they are having a thickness of 80 millimeters for this construction we have used y10 and y12 mm bars you may see that the concrete was poured and we also used the concrete vibrator so that the honeycombing could be avoided you may see that before the placement of iron bars we had also applied engine oil so that precast concrete slab could be removed easily from the shuttering you may see this cross sectional design which we have used while we are placing the reinforcement bars we had also kept a space of 75 mm on top so that these reinforcement bars could be casted together with the help of in situ concrete since we have a total thickness of 8 cm of this precast slab we are going to have the remaining 12 cm thickness of in situ concrete slab so the total slab thickness is going to become 20 centimeters or 200 millimeters you may see that the iron bars were placed together with the help of bending wire so after the construction of our diaphragm beam you may see that the precast slabs had been launched you may see how they have been launched on our five spans of the bridge now after the placement of these precast slabs we are going to cast in situ concrete with a thickness of 12 centimeters this is our abutment of the bridge you may see it has also the wing walls which are going to be connected with the retaining walls on either sides so guys this is it for today i hope you like the video if you have any questions you may let me know so until my next video goodbye